And also verse number nine, Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala contrasts those who reject versus those who are righteous. And Allah says, أَمَّنْ هُوَ قَانِتٌ آنَاءَ اللَّيْلِ سَاجِدًا وَقَائِمًا That is the person who rejects the same as the one who is worshipping devoutly, standing during the watches of the night, prostrating the, in front of Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala, mindful of the hereafter and placing his hopes in the mercy of Allah. قُلْ هَلْ يَسْتَوِ الَّذِينَ يَعْلَمُونَ وَالَّذِينَ لَا يَعْلَمُونَ Say, do those who know, are they the same as those who are ignorant? Only people of knowledge and people of intellect will understand. Notice both of these verses, Allah says, أُولُو الْأَلْبَابِ are the ones who are doing good. And أُولُو الْأَلْبَابِ here are the people who are intelligent enough to worship Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala. The real intelligence that the Quran praises. There are many types of intelligence. Nobody's denying that a type of intelligence can be manifested in every single field. You have intelligence that is manifested in agriculture, in engineering, in mathematics, in chemistry, and physics. That's a type of intelligence that's absolutely great. But the ultimate intelligence, which is far more precious and useful than any other type, in fact, all of them combined, is the intelligence of recognizing your creator and the intelligence of worshiping Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala. The one who knows how to get to the moon and back but hasn't discovered his own purpose in life is truly not intelligent. The one who can solve the most abstract equations but doesn't know who created the universe, that person's intelligence has failed him or her. And the Muslim uh, who doesn't maybe know all of this fancy stuff or whatnot, but he knows why he's here. He knows who created him and he knows what's going to happen after that, meaning he's going to go back to Allah and prepare prepares for that day, that is the very, the most intelligent person. That is the one, as Allah says, أُولَئِكَ هُمْ أُولُو الْأَلْبَاب These are the real people of intelligence. So do not be deluded, dear Muslims, by those who might have an intelligence in some facet of this world, but they don't understand the purpose of this world. Real intelligence is to understand why you are here and to make the best of that. And in order to do that, you don't need to have abstract knowledge of very difficult science and complex, that's a different type of thing.